The Scottish Lowland Football League is one half of Scottish football's fifth tier. Here are their stadiums. Clifton Hill, Albion Rovers. This stadium is a little rough around the edges, it could do with some gardening and a paint job, but it has all the bases covered when you think about it. There's covered seating, covered terracing, uncovered terracing and grass. No wonder Albion Rovers have been playing here since it opened in 1919. Shieldfield Park, Berwick Rangers. This is in England or as some people call it, the Mexico of Scotland. I disagree with that though, I mean the stargazy pie is no match for the burrito. Anyway, as well as football, this is also used for speedway events, hence the track. But if you disregard that, the facilities are pretty good I suppose. Newtown Park, Bowness United. Ironically, Newtown Park is one of the oldest grounds in the league, having opened in 1886. That makes it 100 and... Uh, more than 100 years old. Although you couldn't tell just by looking at it. It seems to have been kept in good condition. Well, actually nothing from 1886 remains other than its latitude and longitude. Dumbarton Football Stadium, Broomhill. The last time I mentioned this stadium, I referred to Dumbarton Castle, which is in the backdrop there, as a bit of an eyesore. I suppose I didn't make the sarcasm obvious enough, because some people thought I was being serious. It is of course a beautiful backdrop. However, it's a bit of a shame that the one and only stand is facing away from it. Alliance Park, Caledonian Braves. Um... Well, um, um, I mean, it's, it's just a field. What do you want me to say? Oh no, they have set up this pair of mini stands, so I guess you could call it a real stadium. A great stadium even, no. Excelsior Stadium, Celtic B. The reserve team doesn't get to play at Celtic Park, but this is still one of the better grounds in the league in terms of its amenities. It's really just a typical British stadium, with a stand on each side, cover seating throughout, no frills, gets the job done. I do appreciate the healthy amount of brickwork throughout the exterior, no match for Celtic Park though. Christie Gillies Park, Civil Service Strollers. That's an odd name for a football club, but it's quite a fitting name given that they are basically playing in an ordinary neighbourhood park where you're likely to see many strollers. That's people taking a stroll, not prams. But I'm sure you'll see them too. Central Park, Cowden Beef. We have some more motorsport facilities on display. This time it's in the form of a tarmac track used for stock car racing. It was formerly a Greyhound track until the mid 60s. I guess they figured out that buses are slow and boring to watch racing around a track. The ground has a large amount of aging, uncovered terracing which gives it a bit of a grim look. Broadwood Stadium, Cumbernauld Colts and Rangers B. Despite being situated in the town of Cumbernauld, the Cumbernauld Colts didn't move in until 2012. It started out as the home of Clyde and Adrianians, two clubs that no longer play here. The design is slightly different. In particular, the roofs, which seem to be especially large compared to the actual seating. I can't say I'm a big fan of that, but it's a decent ground overall. K Park, East Kilbride. K Park sounds Korean in more ways than one, but the K stands for Kilbride, not Korea, and the park is not referring to the common Korean surname, as if there was any question about that. The entire capacity is coming from this small stand here. Not much else to say. Falkirk Stadium, East Stirlingshire. The most apparent feature of this ground is its three-sided nature, but it wasn't always this way. When it opened in 2004, there was just the main stand. A year later, another stand was added. 
few years after that, yet another was added. So it wouldn't be all that surprising if yet another is added once East Stirlingshire or Falkirk inevitably rise to the Scottish Premiership. For now, it's one of the better grounds in the league as is. Peffermill Playing Fields, Edinburgh University. The school is regarded as being the best university north of Cambridge, south of Peterhead, but the sporting facilities are quite humble. Just one small stand borders the ground, but that's all that's required. If that stand fills up, there's plenty of perimeter fence to stand behind. Netherdale, Gala Ferrydean Rovers. When looking at this ground from street level, panning from left to right, you go from seeing some idyllic greenery to this brutalist monstrosity of a stand. There's not too many creature comforts on the inside either. It's equipped with benches rather than bucket seats. It's certainly an interesting stadium though. Raydale Park, Gretna 2008, a space odyssey. The club actually has that name because the original Gretna FC was dissolved in 2008 and supporters put their funds together to form this new club. It's not a bad little ground considering the town's population of little more than 3,000 and it's certainly looking a lot better than it did shortly after Gretna FC went bankrupt. Ferguson Park Heart of Midlothian B. The Hearts reserve team might not get to play at Tynecastle Park, but at least they get to play in some random field. It does actually seem like a nice place to watch a game to be fair, depending on the weather of course, but Scotland rarely lets you down in that department. What I mean is if you're expecting the worst you can't be let down. Preston Field. Linlithgow Rose. Wow, look at the elevation on that stand there, which not only gives the spectators an elevated view, obviously, but it allows the stand to be right up to the fence with people being able to walk right underneath it, so they're closer to the field as well. Other than that, the surrounds are fairly scenic, so it's a nice ground all round. Forrester's Park, Trinent Juniors. This ground might seem very rudimentary, but it does have one feature that is the envy of all the other clubs in Scotland. And that is a pie hut. A great idea really. I think that pie hut will spread around the world and we will finally see Pizza Hut go out of business. Fourth Bank Stadium, University of Stirling. In the battle of the universities, the University of Stirling beats out Edinburgh when it comes to the stadiums. However, this is primarily the home ground of Stirling Albion. There is a good mix of cover seating and a small amount of uncovered terracing for when the additional capacity is required. But the best aspect of this stadium is the scenic backdrop, even better than at the field of Preston. So there you have it. My favorite of the bunch would have to be, eh, uh, fourth bank, why not? Please consider subscribing if you're new and as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.